Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. You are playing a chess match against a skilled opponent. For a given game, there is a 75% chance the game will end in a draw. Of the games that do not end in a draw, there is a two-thirds chance you will win and a one-third chance you will lose. The first player to win two games in a row is declared the winner of the chess match. What is the probability you will win the chess match? I thank Mika from Sweden for suggesting this problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. For a given game, there is a 75% or 3 in 4 chance the game will end in a draw. What's the chance of all games that it will end in a win or a loss for you? Well, notice there is a 1 minus 3 fourths, which equals 1 fourth chance that any particular game will not end in a draw. You win 2 thirds of these games, which is 1 fourth times 2 thirds, which equals 1 sixth of all games. Similarly, you lose the other 1 third of such games, which is 1 fourth times 1 third, which equals 1 twelfth of all games. So the probability a particular game ends in a draw is 3 over 4. The probability a particular game ends in a win for you is 1 over 6. And the probability a particular game ends in a loss is 1 over 12. Now, how can we solve for the chance that you win this entire chess match? We'll set up three different variables. Let's write d to equal the probability you eventually win the match given that the previous game was a draw. We'll write w to equal the probability you ultimately will win the match given the previous game was a win. And we'll write l to equal the probability you'll ultimately win the match given the previous game was a loss. On the very first game, there is no previous game. So we can model this as if the previous game was a draw. Game zero is equal to a draw. We therefore want to solve for D because we want to solve for your probability of winning from the very beginning. Now, if the previous game was a draw, there are three things that could happen. The game could end in a draw with a 3 4 chance and then your chance to win is still D because then the previous game will still be a draw. Now the game could end in a win with a 1-6 chance, and then your chance to ultimately win the tournament will be W. Finally, the game could end in a loss with a 1-12 chance, and then your chance to win will be L. So we can write this in a single equation. D is equal to 3 fourths times D plus 1 6 times w plus 1 12 times l. So we figured out one equation for d, and we can do a similar thing for w and l. Now to figure out the equation for w, consider if the previous game was a win. Again, there are three possible things that could happen. The game could end in a draw with a 3 fourths chance, and then your chance to ultimately win the match will be d. The game could end in a win with a 1-6 chance. In that case, you've won two games in a row because the previous game was a win and the current game is a win. In this case, you win for sure. This will be 1. The game could also end in a loss with a 1-12 chance, and then your chance to ultimately win will be L. So we can write the equation for W as follows. It equals 3 fourths times D plus 1-6 times 1 plus 1-12 times L. So we now can figure out one more equation for L. This will be found if the previous game was a loss. Again, there are three things that could happen. The game could end in a draw with 3 fourths chance, and then your chance to win is D. The game could end in a win with a 1 6 chance, and then your chance to win is W. Finally, the game could end in a loss with a 1 12 chance. 
In this case, you will lose for sure because you've lost the previous game and you've lost the current game. So you've lost two games in a row, which means the other player has won two games in a row. So your chance to win this will be zero. So the equation for L is that L is equal to 3 fourths times Z plus 1 6 times W plus 1 twelfth times zero. So we now have three different equations and three variables. We have a linear system of three equations and three variables, so we can solve for each variable. It's a somewhat tedious calculation, so you can use an algebraic solver. If you're curious, I provided these steps in detail in my blog post. Ultimately, we get the probability you win the match is equal to the value for D, which is equal to 26 over 33, which is approximately 78.8%. Your odds are pretty good. You have about a 78.8% chance of winning two games in a row and winning this chess match. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.